Today's selection is the entirety of Surah 100, Al-Adiyat, or Those That Run, verses 1 through 11. This surah talks about the irresistible nature of spiritual power and knowledge, contrasted with man's ingratitude, pettiness, helplessness, and ignorance. Tafsir for the selection concerns the metaphors and symbols enforcing this surah in verses 1 through 5. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. By the steeds running with panting breath, dashing off sparks by the strike of their hoofs, making raids in the morning, and leaving a trail of dust as they dash into the middle of the enemy troops. Surely man is ungrateful to his Lord, and surely he himself bears witness to it, and surely he is violent in his love of this worldly wealth. Is he not aware that when those who lie in the graves will be raised to life, and that what is in their breasts will be made known, surely their Lord on that day shall have full knowledge about them? Amin. Now, concerning the metaphors and symbols in verses 1 through 5. Quote, These symbols have at least three layers of mystic meaning. 1. Look at the mares or swift camels panting for war on behalf of their masters. Off they go, striking fire with their hoofs by night at the behest of their riders. They push home the charge in the morning, chivalrously giving the enemy the benefit of daylight. And regardless of flashing steel or the weapons of their enemies, they boldly penetrate into the mist of their foe, risking their lives for the cause. Does unregenerate man show that fidelity to his Lord? On the contrary, he is ungrateful to Allah. He shows that by his deeds, he is violently in love with wealth and gain and things that perish. 2. By the figure of metonymy, the brave fidelity of the war horse may stand for that of the brave and true men who rally to the standard of Allah and carry it to victory, contrasted with the paltroonery and pettiness of unregenerate man. 3. The whole conflict, fighting, and victory may be applied to spiritual warfare against those who are caught and overwhelmed by the camp of evil. Unquote. Thank you. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.